The timber rattler is a large and impressive snake. They often have this distinctive stripe down the back and have chevron or triangular markings. The timber rattlesnake is quite venomous and potentially dangerous. They have long fangs and their venom can be fatal to humans if the bite is untreated. However, the rattlesnake is typically secretive and non-aggressive. They prefer to have a back off, Jack, warning before striking. Rattlesnakes do not attack unless provoked. If you see a rattlesnake, stay six feet away and slowly make a wide circle around it. The rattle consists of hollow interlocking segments made of keratin, just like your fingernails. Counting the segments is not an accurate way to determine the age because they may break off and sloth during shedding. We often fear venomous snakes, and they can be scary, but given the real data, you should be terrified of your car. Snakes are not the mortal enemy. In 2021, five people died from rattlesnake venom and almost 43,000 from cars. Green is the current range for the timber rattlesnake. Red is no longer extrapolated, and yellow is the historic range. So in some areas, the timber rattler is listed as the least concern. In Kentucky, it's listed as a species of concern, and in the states listed here, they are considered endangered or threatened within that state, making it illegal to harass, kill, collect, or possess them. The decline in their population is due to habitat loss and fragmentation, being killed by humans and road mortality. In addition, they are slow to sexually mature and females don't give birth annually. They are pit vipers with large triangular heads and have l'oreal pits that are in between the eye and nostril. These pits are temperature sensitive and detect prey and potential predators. Color variations may include yellow, tan, brown, pink, dark brown, or black. Whatever color they are, there is a light and dark phase. Rattlesnakes are migratory. They emerge from dens in the spring and travel to other areas to look for food. They generally migrate 1.3 to 2.5 miles or 2 to 4 kilometers each season. They often return to the same dens in winter. Rattlesnakes live long lives and are slow to sexually mature. Females may not mate until they are 5 to 10 years old. They are avoviviparous, which means that they give live births. They mate in summer and the female stores the sperm and then the young develop inside her body to be born the next summer. So just like the baby copperheads, which we talked about in the last snake video, baby rattlesnakes are born with fangs and the ability to produce venom. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a good baby rattlesnake picture that wasn't $100. An interesting thing about rattlesnake mothers is that they will stay with the young for about a week. The baby rattlers go through a shed shortly after they are born. After that, they leave the den and go out on their own. However, in the fall, the young often follow their parents' scent trail back to the den for winter. This is the eastern diamondback rattlesnake and is often confused with the timber. You can see its diamond-shaped markings. They have a smaller range living in the southwestern U.S. They get larger, and they are not as likely to back down than retreat like the timber rattler. In the southeast, both rattlesnakes may have overlapping areas, but they are not known to fight each other. Rodents, squirrels, and small birds make up most of the timber rattlesnake's diet. They get between three and five feet long, and the larger ones can capture larger prey like this rabbit. Red-tailed hawks and other birds of prey will hunt rattlesnakes. Fun fact, 
A group of rattlesnakes is a rumba. So let's party. This big guy or girl was spotted crossing a road at Mingo National Wildlife Refuge in Missouri. I hope you have learned a bit more about the fascinating timber rattlesnake and why they are an important part of our environment. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and take some time to appreciate wildlife today.